Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from real numbers chapter. Now this question has three sub questions. The first and second one is for one mark and the third sub question is for two marks. And the third sub question also has an or question. That is either you can attempt the A question or the B question. Now let us proceed with the first one. February 14 is celebrated as International Book Giving Day and many countries in the world celebrate this day. Some people in India also started celebrating this day and donated the following number of books of various subjects to a public library. That is 96 history books were donated, science 240 books and mathematics 336 books. These books have to be arranged in minimum number of stacks such that each stack contains books of only one subject and the number of books on each stack is the same. Based on the above information, answer the following questions. Now the first one is, how many books are arranged in each stack? So let us first understand how does a book stack look. So just giving you an idea, this is called as a book stack and we have to make sure that there are minimum number of stacks this way and each stack should have the same subject. That is if we started with history, all the books in the stack has to be history. And if we started with mathematics, all the books in the stack should be mathematics. And we should also make sure that there are minimum number of stacks. Since minimum number of stacks is given, minimum number is a keyword to find out the HCF, that is highest common factor of these three subjects. So let us begin by prime factorizing these three numbers starting with history. So starting with the history books, it is 96 and prime factorizing. So we have to take only the prime factors to divide 96. Let us start with 3. So 3 divides 96 as 3 times 32 is 96. Now 32 goes in the table of 2, that is 2 16 times is 32. And 16 also goes in the table of 2, that is 2 8 times is 16. And then we have 2 4 times is 8 and then 2 2 times is 4. And finally we have 2 1 times is so these are all the factors of 96. So let me write here. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now let us prime factorize the next number that is 240. So let us begin its prime factorization by dividing it by 2. So 2 120 times is 240. Then 260 times and then we can use 3. So 320 times is 60. Then we can use 5. 5 4 times is 20. And again we have to divide 4 by 2. So 2, 2 times is 4 and 2, 1 times is 2. Now let us write down all the factors of 240 over here. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Finally, we are going to prime factorize 336. So let us begin by dividing 336 by 3. So 312 times is 336. Then it goes in the table of 2. So 2, 5 times is 11. So we have a remainder 1. So 2, 6 times is 12. And then... 56 again goes in the table of 2. So 2, 2 times is 4, we get a remainder 1. So 16 is 8. Now we can use 7. So 7, 4 times is 28. And 4 goes in the table of 2. So we can do 2, 2 times is 4. And 2, 1 times is 2. So these are the factors of 336. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. Now once we have got the factors, let us find out the HCF. And to find out the HCF, we have to circle out the common factors from all the three numbers. So here we can see 2 is a common factor. It is present in 96, in 240 and in 336. Similarly, we have another 2 which is common in all three. And there is another 2 which is common in all three. Then there is a fourth one which is common in all three. And then we have finally a 3 which is common in all the three numbers. Now let me write the HCF here. So the HCF of 96, 240 and 336 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now multiplying all these numbers we get the value as 48 books. So these are the number of books that can be arranged in each stack. Now let us move on to the second sub question. How many stacks are used to arrange all the mathematics books? So let us write down the total number of mathematics books donated and the total number of books in each stack. So total number of mathematics books donated were 336 and the number of books arranged in each stack were 48 as we had got in the part 1 of this question. Now we have to find out how many number of stacks do we need. So for this we can use the cross multiplication method. So let me write here. 
So here we have written stacks and books. In one stack there can be 48 books. Then how many stacks do we need to accommodate 336 books? So number of stacks as we have considered x here, I have written x. So using cross multiplication method, that is 1 multiplies with 336 and 48 multiplies with x. So we have here 48 times x is equal to 336 times 1 gives us 336. Or taking 48 on the other side of equal to sign, we get x is equal to 336 over 48. So 336 divided by 48 gives us 7 stacks, which means 336 mathematics books are arranged in 7 stacks. Now let us move on to the third sub-question. Determine the total number of stacks that will be used for arranging all the books. So in part 2 of this question, we had found out how many stacks were needed for mathematics books. Now we have to find it for history, science and mathematics together. So let me write here. So the number of history books given were 96, science were 240 and mathematics were 336. So to find out the total number of stacks, we have to just divide the number of books of each subject with the HCF. This was the same step which we had done in part 2 of this question for mathematics books. So here let us begin by substituting their respective values. So starting with history books over HCF, history books are 96 and divided by 48 plus science books are 240 divided by HCF is 48 again plus the mathematics books are 336 divided by 48. So simplifying this, 48 and 96 go in the table of 48, that is 48 1 times and 48 2 times is 96. Similarly, 48 and 240 go in the table of 48, that is 48 1 times is 48 and 48 5 times is 240. And 48 also divides 336, that is 48 1 times and 48 7 times. So the total number of stacks we have here is... 2 plus 5 plus 7 which gives us total of 14 stacks. So the total number of books can be arranged in minimum of 14 stacks. Now let us move on to the OR question. If the thickness of each book of history, science and mathematics is 1.8 cm, 2.2 cm and 2.5 cm respectively, then find the height of each stack of history, science and mathematics books. So let us try to understand this question by a rough presentation first. So this is taken just for reference to make you understand. So here we had considered this as the stacks. So this is one stack, two stack, three stack and so on. So let us consider this is the stack of history books. And the stack contains maximum of 48 books as we had got in part one of this question. And the question says that the thickness of each book of history is 1.8 cm. So 1.8 cm is thickness of one book, but we have 48 books in one stack. So to find the height of the stack of history books, we got to just multiply 1.8 with 48 books. The same logic applies to science books and mathematics books as well. We have to just multiply 48 with 2.2 and 48 with 2.5. And that will give us the height of each stack of history, science and mathematics books. So let me write here. So height of each stack of history books, so one stack has 48 books, so we are going to write 48 times 1.8. That gives us the height of history books stack as 86.4 cm. Similarly, we have written here height of each stack of science books, that is one stack again has 48 books, but the thickness of each book is 2.2. So we have to just multiply 48 with 2.2 and that gives us a value of 105.6 cm. That is the total height of the stack for science books. Finally, for the mathematics books, we are going to write height of each stack of mathematics books, that is one stack has 48 books and the thickness of each book is 2.5 cm. So 48 books times 2.5, that will give us a value of 120 cm. That is the total height of the stack for mathematics books. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then you can click on these playlists where you can find more questions of these kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.